Hello guys, what is up, it's Mace. Welcome back to Place Glazed. Hello, what is up? It is Sunday, and for me, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like Sunday is kind of like a universal thrift day. At least in LA, it seems to be that like all the thrifts lit the F up on Sundays, and I get a lot of comments from you guys saying that you also do a lot of thrifting on Sundays. I just feel like Sunday, it's the thrift day. So I am going to head out today on like a pretty classic average day of thrifting for me. I'm gonna hit two shops in LA, a Goodwill and the Women's Council Thrift Shop, which is one of my favorite places to go for like out of the box, like iconic kind of pieces, also designer pieces on the low low on the cheapy cheapy on the not a lot of money so I'm going to those places because today's mission is to find not really recreate but find pieces like some I have been seeing on Instagram that have been inspiring me but I kind of want to like start this new series on here with you guys not really like a series per se but just like throw it into the come thrifting with me videos where every couple of weeks I share with you guys some images that are really inspiring me on Instagram because that tends to be a place where I obviously pull a ton of style inspiration and I love just seeing other people like out there on Instagram expressing their personal style, shimmy and shaking, doing their damn thing. And I have a couple of key pieces that I'm kind of after adding into my wardrobe. So I am very much so on the hunt for like a thick turtleneck that kind of has like a thicker and looser collar that I can crop into like a crop top, either like sleeveless or with like long, like billowy sleeves. I just think that's like a really, really cool silhouette. I'm also just on the hunt for like a cool, like quirky, I don't like know, like cute, like a cutie cutie graphic tee. Um, I have a lot of like oversized black kind of like band vintage tees but I'm kind of more on the hunt for like a softer graphic that I can then throw on like one of my thrifted leather jackets that I've gotten recently over for like the like soft hard effect you know soft on the inside hard on the outside I'm also on the hunt for like a coat for winter so one that has I'm hoping for like faux fur on the inside or faux fur on the outside or faux fur all over the coat yeah I was really inspired by this green coat and I don't think I will find one in this color but oh my god that would be amazing balls to the max and then I'm also just after like something with really cool embellishments I don't know I feel like a lot of the street style I've been seeing recently especially from like all the fashion weeks that happened during fashion month I was just seeing a lot of tops with embellishments and I talked about that in my like thrifting the 2019 trends video which I'll link down below if you haven't seen it yet basically today we are just on the hunt for special ass pieces so I'm going to some of my special ass thrift stores and we're gonna have a damn good time so if you love thrifting videos thrift with me videos style videos videos where we like I said shimmy and shake and have a good time make sure to hit subscribe down below and the Queens are about to hit the goodwill we are here, bright and early. That is spooky as hell. <laughs> okay, I just walked right into a good ass rack that seems to have like a lot of leather and animal print. Oh, whoa. I love London Fog. I see this brand everywhere. Oh, that's only 10. I usually see it for a lot more than that. Let's, I wanna try this on. try these on. So we just got into the thrift and I'm actually just trying this jacket on. Um, we have a couple of things I've already picked up. Okay, so this is like a little more cropped blazer situation. It's like different because of the neckline. It's like kind of like a V. It's cool. Okay, so we are in the fitting room and I've never seen it so clean in here, so it's very exciting. Um, I have this top and then I have quite a few other things. Uh, I told you guys I was after a lot of colors, a lot of embellishments. I'm really excited about this, about this color, about these colors, about these colors, about all the colors. Okay, I am going to cue another voiceover try on haul extravaganza moment situation. Okay, queens, let's get down to business, AKA trying on some damn, hopefully fabulous clothes. First up to the stage is this kind of like camel caramely colored turtleneck that gave me extreme static hair, like static head hair is to the absolute max. That should just be my new name if I'm gonna sport this top around town. I told you guys earlier in the video that I was really after like a thick turtleneck that was either cropped or that I could cut up and like snip snap myself into a crop, but this guy just, it wasn't it. Let's move on. 
Next up, we have a classic men's shimmy shake top. And by men's, I really just mean from the men's section of the thrift store. I truly believe you guys know in throwing out the tired notion that clothing has to be gender specific at all. I feel like you should just wear whatever the hell feels good to you and scour every single section of the damn store. Next, we have this like completely QDAF Sailor Moon top. And I mean, Sailor Moon was so iconic back in the day, like in the 90s, I remember watching it, being obsessed. And I just felt like this was the perfect graphic tee to throw on under like a little leather moto jacket for the fall. Just, I love that juxtaposition between kind of like a lighter, brighter top um, that I'm feeling this is giving the vibes of with like a hard ass jacket on top. And then I tried on this little white tee that completely like cut off my breathing and circulation. Too small. This like red hoodie thing was just a straight no for me dog, just straight no for me. However, after that fail, I had a big ass win and tried on this kind of like, I don't even know how to describe this top to you guys because it's almost gives like windbreaker vibes because it has that little zippy zip in the front, but it has like these sheer sleeves that are completely like encrusted in pearls, which is really unique to me. And I told you guys I was really after like unique iconic pieces because I truly just want to be like serving looks for you guys for the rest of 2019 and inspiring you to wear whatever the hell you want. And if whatever the hell you want is pearl encrusted sleeves, well, bitch, that is what you are going to wear. Last I tried on this jacket that I found right before going into the fitting room that I just kind of wanted to show you guys It's not really my style at all. So I don't know what I was thinking The studs truly gave me like 2011 DIY YouTube days where we were just studying truly anything we could stud um, And I just had some fun like thrusting to ladies night which was playing over the loudspeaker And so I had to thrust away for a bit and I must leave you with a bit of my personal fitting room advice, which is to stop being so damn hard on yourself. Remember you're a beautiful ass queen and just do your damn thing because it's enough and you're enough. You're more than enough. So say some sweet ass shit to yourself in that fitting room mirror and let's move on to the next door. I'm done trying stuff on. Found quite a couple of things. We're gonna go check out and pop over the next door. We just popped out of the Goodwill and we are gonna walk over to the council thrift. Found a couple things here in my Glossier bag, but I'm hoping, very wishful thinking that this store is going to have the goods because the council thrift, I don't know, not everyone loves it. I've watched a couple people's videos where they've gone to it. It's definitely not like a huge thrift store with like a massive selection, but they do have amazing finds. Like I have bought Prada boots for $10 there. Their shoes are extremely reasonably priced. Their boots are always like $10 and other shoes are like $5. And they have like Prada boots, Mew Mew slides. I've literally seen Chanel, Louis Vuitton, like they've got the goods at the council thrift on Fairfax. So we're gonna go hit it up. My friend Lisbeth found a beautiful, beautiful blazer the last time we were there. So I'm hoping to find something similar myself. I have to pee very bad. That's like honestly my number one qualm with thrifting. Would qualm be the right word? Issue, it's not an issue because I still go. I just have the bladder the size of a pea. I would love for you guys to comment down below who else is part of like the pea size bladder club. It makes it incredibely hard to go thrifting because thrift store bathrooms are either one, like incredibly disheveled or two, they don't exist. And the two I'm going to today do not have bathrooms. So RIP, wish me luck. I didn't drink coffee, which is probably why I'm not so hyped up today. Whenever I get comments asking how I'm so hyper, how I have so much energy, people usually think it's drugs or sugar. It's espresso and my personality. But I'm a little weak today because I didn't drink coffee, so I don't pee my pants. Okay, let's back to the video. Hey, 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 hammer to fall. They're open. Okay, I found two shimmy shake tops. This like yellow one that is just beautiful. It's a beautiful yellow color. I don't necessarily need it. This one, however, I do necessarily need. It is velvet, shimmy shake top, leopard print, beautifully cut, vintage tag. Yum. Look at that. A little snack right there. Mm-mm. Yeah, give it a shot. How does it look? It actually looks pretty wild. I feel like this is incredible. My bag would totally wear this shit out in the winter. It's $18. Tyler's found his chill spot. I'm just gonna like leave my finds on him and I'm gonna go hit up over there. This thrift doesn't have fitting rooms, but it has this like kind of little corner you can go into. Okay, and I just fell in love with this slip dress that I don't have any like long dresses like this. 
But I went to an event a couple days ago with my friend Dina and she wore like a long slip dress like this. My friend Dina from LA Thrift Queens episode four. I'll link it down below, but I don't know. I feel like I could do something cool with a blazer over this like belted, like literally exactly how Dina wore it. And this is why I'm glad that I didn't get the slip dress at the last Goodwill that I didn't love because now I found this with a cool cow neck and a cool little print and we love. Guys, look at this jacket. Um, like I need it. I, I need this. I, I don't need this at all because like LA, but like I need this. Macy in New York needs this. Macy just like moving around the house needs this. It is so luxe. It's only $35. Okay, I'm gonna get to these couple of things. This is a very quality over quantity thrift store. I'm gonna grab these, head home, wash it, and then we will have a damn dry on haul. Okay, somehow in the process of setting up this camera just now, I completely spilled coffee, um, coffee, now that I'm home and have a secure bathroom to use. I decided to sip on a nice iced coffee and I just spilled it all over my teat. But regardless, um, we're just gonna like ignore that and cover it up with my hair. Because what is this raggedy ass thing here for if it is not to cover up a stain on my damn shirt? Okay, so we are back from the thrift store. We completed our mission. I really hit a lot of the things on the head that I was inspired by from the images that I saved and showed you guys from Instagram. So we're gonna have a fashion show extravaganza because it's plays and plays and that is what we do. First up, we are gonna start with the Goodwill where I purchased three items, two being these that I'm gonna actually style together. The first thing you guys saw these really briefly in the vlog are these pants. They're kind of like weird. They're like honestly the same exact material as my like silky kind of like pillowcases that I use. They're very good for the skin. You should really try one out. I highly recommend. But the pants. I saw these pants hanging up and you guys know I said I was after like iconic cool ass pieces and I have no pants like this. I mean first one we love a good elastic band because we can eat as much as we want and the pants will expand. We can chill and we can have a good time and not have to worry about a damn button and a zip. And I loved how long and just like wide length they are. They obviously give me very disco vibes, very John Travolta getting down Saturday Night Fever, staying alive. You guys know those movies are very big inspos of mine and these pants just felt very disco, disco queen. Yes to two people. Beep, and the pants were $4.99, but I actually ended up getting them for $2.49 because they were red tag, and the deal of the day was red tags. And then I'm going to style these pants with my graphic tee. I told you guys I was after like a softer graphic tee, and when I saw this, it immediately made me think of Devin Lee Carlson, like she would totally wear this. And her account was actually like my biggest inspo for the graphic tee that I was after. She's always doing a lot of like softer, kind of like cutesy cutesy, like retro 90s, early 2000s tees. And then like making them hard, making them fashion, making them different, and we love that. So I just had to get this because it fit me so cute. And you guys saw it in the fitting room, I was loving it. So that was $5.99, which is like a little bit pricey for me. I don't normally spend that much on just like a long sleeve at the thrift, but I know I will get good wear out of this. Let's style it up. Okay, so I obviously told you guys exactly how I was gonna style this, but I have on just this like leather moto jacket that I've had for a very long time. For me personally, I don't need a million moto jackets. I've had this exact same one since, I don't even know, but I got it literally back when I lived in Ohio, so like over three years ago, and it's still doing me well. So I have that layered on over the Sailor Moon top, which I just, I love this juxtaposition. It's like I said, soft on the inside, hard on the outside. And I thought that'd be perfect, obviously with my Fendi sunglasses, a little bit of a retro vibe, a little bit of a retro vibe, and then we'll bring it downtown for a little bit of a disco vibe. I feel like these kind of look weird and are like coming off strange on camera, but they really are just like a cool white leg and I love the white and the white together. You guys know on Blazing Blaze we do not play by the fashion rules. We make up our own freaking rules. And then I just have on these little black kitten heels with it that are also thrifted. Bada bing, bada bang. Next piece, which is this guy, and honestly, probably my second favorite or tied for first favorite piece of this entire haul. This top, you guys saw it in the fitting room. It's obviously super iconic, very cool. This was $6, and oh, so totally worth it. Okay, now, this, I'm loving it, I'm living for it, and I'm gonna show it to you guys a little bit closer up. Just like, look at that detail, like $6 for such a banging shirt. I'm sorry, but you wear something like this around your friends, out on the town, doing your damn thing, and people will be like, where? The shit. Did you get that miraculous item? And you'll be like, the fucking good well. So to style this, I just put it with these jeans that I have that you guys know I wear all the time. They're my favorite thrifted jeans. 
spoiler alert, I might have a tie for favorite thrifted jeans with these to show you guys in a moment. But first, this top with these jeans, and I think what kind of pulls the whole look together is tucking the shirt into the jeans, and then these sneakers that I threw on with it. These are just some like old sneakers that I have that are white and blue and black. And I feel like it really works because of the white in the shoes and the white in the top. But then we have like pops of color with the blue in the pants and the blue in the shoes, and I just feel like this is a damn vibe. This kind of gives like dad grandpa windbreaker vibes, but then like make it fashion with the pearls, and then you have like your cool high waisted jeans on, you have your cool sneak sneaks on, and you're ready to hit the town. Now we are moving on to the council thrift where I found three also very iconic items. I'm very excited about this. You know, I much prefer a thrift haul of like six items that are all freaking banging than like a hundred that are like <laughs> so so. You know what I'm saying? So this. Obviously, if you guys are not new, you know what this is. It is the damn shimmy shake top. A shimmy shake top, I will say it once, I will say it twice, I will say it a million times, is a button down that evokes a vibe. A button down that you throw on and you're just like, damn yes, I'm feeling myself. This top was $7, very worth it to me. It's vintage, I can tell from the tag, and it just gives a really cool like shimmy shimmy vibe effect. I'm gonna throw it on. Okay, so for the LA fall, so far I found myself wearing a lot of long sleeve shimmy shake tops and shorts and heels and we'll back it up, back it up truck and hopefully not piss off my downstairs neighbors too much, but I just have on these black long thrifted shorts you guys have seen a million times. Anyway, I will lower this downtown. Mr. Downtown. Ta -ta. Oh, I had it tucked in the wrong side. I'm a big fan of the one tuck and I love doing it with just like a little heel. This heel has like some brown in it, so it goes with the brown in the shirt, but it doesn't like clash. And this is honestly how I style so many of my shimmy shake tops. It's just half tucked in, ready to shimmy, ready to shake, ready to party. Okay, next up, next up. Two more items. So these jeans were an extreme find and steal. When I saw them, they were actually in the men's department, but I don't think they're men's jeans. They are the Lee brand, and they have this butt, which I love because these are my favorite pair of thrifted denim, and just denim in general that I own. Apparently, I just love things that have this kind of like just split crack booty, if you will, with no pockets. So I saw these, and they have like that paper bag waist effect, which I don't have in any jeans. And I tried them on, and they were actually exactly my I actually didn't try them on. I did the like jeans around the neck trick and it worked. So I got them, took them home. They were only $10, which was such a steal for just a good ass pair of jeans that is going to fit me. And I know that all of you, of course, already know how to like style a pair of jeans, but we're gonna style these anyway. Okay, okay, okay. So if you guys saw a couple videos back of mine, I thrifted this like amazing Dalmatian print, like Corella DeVille vibes blazer. I think I kicked my camera over while I was changing. Anyway, I just threw, oh my god, I love this look. I love this look. Okay, I have the jeans on. As you guys can see, they fit super, super well, and I super, super love them. I'm sure you guys are gonna be seeing them all the time now. And I have it on with this thrifted belt that I love. I have to like situate that a little bit. Plain black crop top. I don't even know where I got this. With this blazer from St. Vincent de Paul, Long Beach. And I'm pretty obsessed with this look. I just have it on with black kitten heels. It's a vibe, it's happening, we love this. And the last piece, I'm honestly just going to throw over this because it can kind of be styled anyway. It's a jacket. I did end up getting this guy because I have literally nothing like it and it was $18. It's a Marvin, a Marvin Richards jacket. Um, and it's denim and it has this like brown faux fur underneath, it's super heavy. It also has it on the sleeves so like you can roll the sleeves up and have that like very 70s like fur cuff situation. It's just so dope and obviously I wouldn't wear it with like this color of denim but I just wanted to show you guys, I just wanted to have a moment with her. We would not wear these black sunglasses though, we would definitely do a brown product moment. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Let me know down below what your favorite item of the haul was or what you're thrifting for this week or just something going on with you. I just miss you guys. I don't know why I feel like I haven't like made a real Mesa-fied Lizzie Lizzie video in a minute, but hopefully this sufficed, hopefully this did the trick. I love you guys so much. If you did enjoy this video and you are new to my channel, go ahead and hit subscribe down below. I'm going to be kind of, I think, switching up my upload days a little bit in the future, but there still will be a video on Friday. I'm going to have a huge collective thrift haul out on Friday. I did want to say that I will be bringing back my thrifted and vintage Instagram story sales this weekend. I took kind of like a month and a half hiatus and I've collected some really amazing pieces for you guys. So if you are not following me on Instagram already, at Missy Lenny, I will link it down below. Be sure to follow me for the closet sale. It'll be on Sunday at noon. And also if you just need like a little burst of like positivity in the morning, dance parties in the morning, we get down on my Instagram stories. So do not forget that you are a beautiful ass queen, not for one second, just the way you are, doing your 
your damn thing. I swear to God, freaking amazing. You're special. You're a star. And I don't want you to let anyone make you feel any different, including yourself. You're amazing. And I'll see you back here on Friday. Peace.